பொருளாதார Welcome back to Arkham Reactor. So, we've done four songs, three out of four, I enjoyed. The other one is maybe, it's probably going to be rather a grower, or it's just not going to sit with me at all. Uh, and that song that I couldn't really get on with was Never Gonna Learn. Uh, although the album overall seems to be a, probably one of the deeper albums that you're going to get a lot more kind of personal just reading off the lyrics from what I've heard. I know self-titled was, I'd say probably self-titled as well, was pretty damn um, personal uh, on a case when it comes to the writing of the songs but this one has been quite personal. Um, just thinking of um, different different people in the band who who the song kind of sits with, uh, sits with um, and that kind of stands. But overall, three out of four songs and an album that I, I like is is good going. Um, so we haven't done reactions for Alone Again and we haven't done intro. I've heard intro just off camera and Alone Again. I was kind of just too excited to hear a new song from Asking Alexandra. And that's where I kind of just watched the reaction from Chris MTN, our, our, our fellow friend um, and our fellow reactor. Um, I what? not gonna lie i do watch some reactors um and mtn is one of my favorites as well so if you want to go subscribe to mtn reacts then please do his reactions are fantastic and he's just close to 30k as well so this song is find myself and just reading the the title you expect it's really going to be a kind of slower song um or it's going to be heavy and just full of emotions that can be slow and full of emotion as well but i'm really not going to say much more but let's just go for it and see what this is all about let's go Game was nice.
Right, we're just going to pause it there and we're going to go back to the start of the, the guitar solo because I just want to point out a few things. Although this song starts off with hard hitting lyrics, it does. It's, it starts off with, how do I kill myself? Um, it just gets heavy and it, his screams are just raw and full of emotion. I think this album's one of the first ones they've said they've done with no drugs or anything else like that. They've just they're fully clean, putting out exactly what they want and kind of telling a story in a way. This song right here is one of the hardest hitting lyrics I think I've heard from Asking Alexandra. Although you might think some of the ones from Sand Up and Scream or something like that are not purely based on what they were thinking at the time. They are. This one is just hard hitting it and kind of every way it's, it's heavy when it wants to be. It's melodic and calm and just kind of, it's like stabbing something in the heart, it's a, uh, in a way, it's just an emotional roller coaster in this one, um, but overall this, this one was an instant like after I heard the first chorus, it was, it was an instant like, it's just that good, um, some of the songs on, on uh, well, one of them, Never Gonna Learn, hasn't exactly got me ex excited for the song it was a there was a few bits in it that I liked but this one this one was a kind of instant like it's hard rock and it's exactly what you expect from kind of the rock and, and metal it's got some emotion to it um in fact this one has a lot of emotion to it but in, in a sense you get what I mean it's hard it's heavy and even though some points in the song might not be kind of drums, guitars, heavy, it's still heavy in other ways. We're just going to go back and uh, about 10 seconds in, get the last wee bit and go into the guitar solo because that's where it really does kick off and even the guitar solo from the first few notes that I heard kind of conveys some sense of emotion as well. So let's just go. Nice orchestra touch. Now that is an ins that's an ins like for, for just for a few reasons, touches on hard lyrics that, in in theory, from what you've heard from the beginning of the album till now is is what you expect, and it seems like it's a personal album. It's hard hitting lyrics, the screams there that even though they're not kind of metal or screams, they're more vocal kind of fries them kind of things. Not a vocal coach by the way. Just get just give me a little bit of information from what I heard. Um Guitar solo was absolutely fantastic. That conveyed a little bit of emotion into the chorus and then the orchestra kinda of led it off. A few things to note as well, you hear Danny just at the end kind of harmonising with himself so he's rather than the 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 main vocals first and then he's went and kind of dubbed over with the, the harmonisation which was a, a nice touch 
from the lyrics from, uh, from the beginning to the end, absolutely fantastic. Now, this song could be a personal favourite, and just a few reasons why. The lyrics are just... In, th- in theory, doesn't in theory the song is trying to, uh, he's trying to find himself, but in ways he doesn't know how to. And from if it's the song's rather written about Danny or someone else in the band, and I can kind of put it in, in a stance, they're exactly where they need to be. Um, making songs like this and all one again faded out. Um, personally, on a personal note. I wasn't too fan or I wasn't a big fan of Never Gonna Learn, but if they're gonna write songs like Find Myself, then I am all for it. And just kind of stating facts, I'm not gonna bullshit you. If I don't like a song, I'm gonna tell you. This one, an absolute insta like from the beginning to the end, the vi- the or the kind of commercial touch at the end, just kind of faded out, and that even conveyed a little, just a wee tad of emotion as well. It's this song is kind of down to your own interpretation at the end of the day as well. So you rather will, will like it or you won't, but in theory I struggle to find anything wrong with it, with this one. There's a, obviously I, I can, I've commented on the other songs, but with this one, I, there's, just, there's just nothing wrong with it. Vocal screams, guitar solo, drums were fantastic. You could hear a bit of the bass as well, which sometimes bass is rather... You, sometimes you, people can't hear it if you're a trained bassist or something like that you'll be able to hear it but just from a kind of a novice drummer's kind of standpoint and a fan of hard rock and heavy metal this song there was, it was just flawless there was nothing wrong about it at all and i struggled to say that some that songs were flawless in this album uh, i really have but with for myself everyone can connect to it on a kind of personal level doesn't matter what you've done what you've been through this is exactly the song that if there's going to be a top song in the album for me personally it's really going to be alone again which to me just sounds a, a bit like ask, uh, asking Alexandria meets Avenged Sevenfold two bands that I've liked since the kind of asking Alexandria Blackfield Brides Avenged Sevenfold days that were kind of what I kind of grew up with or in a sense you're gonna find the the more emotional notes that are more personal to the listeners in their own personal kind of way same for the rest of the band members as well but with find myself i can't find anything wrong with it it's overall it's hard hitting it's deep song and i'm just gonna say it the song's a masterpiece you're just gonna argue this that the song's just that good you get goosebumps all the way through that song beautiful song that's really it folks so if you want to subscribe please do and make sure you leave a comment in the comment section as well i am more than happy to reply and see what you think about it because it's not just about me it's all about what you think about it as well as asking alexandria fans as we all are then it's all down to what you kind of interpret this song as but the song was just th- that good and danny's voice just built on with the word spoils just just good just overall fan absolutely fantastic um anyway folks Links are in the description, make sure you check them out as well, and this song will be in the description as well, so that you can go and watch it if you already haven't. But apart from that folks, see you in the next one.